what do we have here? Well, the accidents in Properton just keep getting better and better. Uh, looks like this is a pretty good one. Uh, someone's fallen down here. Uh, your trailer is up here. The semi truck is, I don't even know. Vehicles are turning around. <laughs> and someone else over here, uh, you are not having a good day at all. Um, yeah, just another classic day in good old Properton. Hi everyone, my name is Pilot Build Cities, but you can call me Pilot, and welcome back to the city of Properton. Now today we're looking at our industrial area. Uh, we're taking a bit of a break from our downtown uh, project just to do a little bit of uh, fixing over in this area. If we come out of this info views here, we can see we've got a couple warning signs for our industrial area. Um, the main one being this high resource cost. Um, doing a little bit of investigating into this uh, issue, uh, I find this can be slightly misleading. Um, what I'm finding and what I tested is if we come into our production tab here, we can see that we have a high level of surplus of uh, rock here. And looking at all the businesses, for the most part, the ones that have um, issues with high resource costs, with the exception of uh, this one here, is all ones that have to do with uh, rock. and. Um, yeah, I think even if we come into production tab and look at, um, where is it, um, metals, uh, this one may be just, uh, we are a little shy on the uh, stone mining, I think it's called. I don't know, sometimes these names don't really, <laughs> metal ore. Uh, so anyways, uh, we have a couple expansions planned as well uh, to kind of address these issues. Um, but I'm oh, sorry, weird camera <laughs> problem there. Um, uh, the other one we have is lack of high skilled labor. And if we come into our uh, education tab, we can see here that um, our college is full. Uh, it's been, uh, we already added one in expansion and uh, there's just not enough room. So we're going to add one of those and uh, that'll be the first part of the episode. So coming over to this area, I figured it would be nice to place it right behind this uh, botanical garden, considering that uh, this is turning into quite a high-density uh, neighborhood, and we already have an existing elementary school here. Uh, so we, we don't have a lot of extra funds, so it's uh, going to be a little bit um, tight on money to get this in, but uh, what we will do is we will grab some pedestrian streets to start with, and uh, we'll just run them uh, right behind this building to begin with. And if we can get it to kind of snap to the building side, that would be great. Like that. And we're going to have to place the college just slightly off skew as well. Uh, we have a bit of terrain to contend with, contend with here. So we're just going to flatten ourselves back a little bit of a pad. And I'm going to fix this slope here in about two seconds because it's going to drive me nuts. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll come into our education tab, grab a college. And uh, we'll kind of just slide it over the best we can to maybe about there. Now it's going to require a couple uh, rope connections for the parking lots. So what we want to do is come on this side and we'll connect it to this main road here. And then um, as well, we'll run a smaller road. Maybe we'll just put a whole street here instead and that might work a little bit better and then we'll just add some pedestrian paths uh, down and that'll that'll work a lot nicer so uh, we'll snap just to the side of botanical garden here one there come on to the other side as well into there and yeah, that's worked out nicely. Uh, we're a little low on money, but that's okay. Um, so our college here um, is now ready. And then yeah, once uh, it should fill up probably fairly fast and hopefully yeah, we'll get some uh, students going in there as well. So I fixed the slope on this road and we're actually eventually going to tear out this whole area here and redevelop it. Um, it is quite heavy in uh, ground pollution at the moment. So once we do that, uh, we will have to wait a bit of time, but I'd like to turn it into some 
residential housing and part of our expansion plan today is we're going to kind of open up some tiles up here on the mountainside. Um, if we come into our natural resources tab over here, we have some farmland that's available as well as some mining. And the best part is this will be um, well out of the way for our air pollution, <laughs> oh, especially over on this side. Uh, so yeah, we can eliminate this little area here and that'll kind of help uh, finish off some of our redevelopment plans for this area. We can kind of fill it in. Um, we'll probably take these two farms out as well. Uh, we've got some vegetables and grain. Uh, we can move those two over there. And a little bit later in the episode, if we get time, there's actually a nice little spot um, up in the mountains here as well for some fertile land and uh, rock. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see how the episode goes. I don't want to, uh, to uh, drag this on too long. So. so one of the things I found that helped initially was just getting some more industry in. So if we come into our... Um, contour lines here we're gonna kind of change it up a little bit and trying to make a little bit of a nicer industrial park so we'll come right along this contour line here and kind of just slide it down all the way to about there hook get us in at a 90 if we can like that and then we might just need to do a little bit of sloping here just to kind of hopefully take down the amount of slope into this road and we'll just take a simple curve and bend it into this road for now eight and a half yeah it's a little bit steep so why don't we take that back a bit go up to about there and then we'll slope from here right click at the top drag up no <laughs> go a little too far but anyways and then back into a simple curve still yep there we go now we have a nice 4.5 degree slope in there like so and then we can just give that a little, a little bit of a soften make it look a little bit nice anyways i'm sure we'll do more much more terrain work in this city um so um kind of taking inspiration um from a couple of different creators out there and um especially uh if you candy when she put out that industrial um video for uh, Colossal Order just to kind of maybe change up how we do um, this area. You know, I tried to kind of do some mixed in here as well, some parks, but uh, also I just want to give the <laughs> some space. Um, we're really kind of cramming them in tightly there, so um, yeah, a bit of bumpy terrain over here, so get that fixed up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to work on that uh, first and let's just try and get this smooth out maybe a bit better might even be worth maybe seeing if we can just grab this height and a bit of a pad maybe or is that going to be too tall yeah maybe we'll just take the lower height and kind of flatten that out a little bit around here like so and then we'll just kindly kindly please smooth <laughs> Smooth that out a little bit, and that'll just give us a little bit more workable space. But yeah, so that's kind of what I had uh, planned for this area. And uh, what I found is the game, uh, when it decides what to spawn in, it should hopefully spawn in some more um, sort of production that uses rock and concrete. Because um, what I'm finding is probably the resource cost high warning is because it's expensive to export out of the city. And there's not enough uh, local production right now, so I'm guessing that that's the issue. When I tested this, um, that did seem to work, sort of expanding quite a bit. So we'll do work on some expansion here. We'll zone in some different types as well, and uh, really just kind of play up the roadway network a bit different and try and get some different buildings going on in here. Maybe place a little bit of parking as well there. Um, and uh, while we're here as well, we can actually work on moving this uh, road maintenance depot and we'll relocate it over to this area as well. Let's see if there's a nice spot, if we maybe just take out this road here and oops, should grab the building, <laughs> bring that over here as well. And that fits perfectly in there. 
and then if we have our upgrades, we'll put that down there as well, and just give us some more road maintenance vehicles, and uh, eventually we'll kind of also get some more uh, roadway reconfigured over here, but yeah, so that's kind of what we'll be working on. So I like to do a mix of different zoning, and in Natural City Skylights two-way, the zoning is not quite where I want it to be, so if you can try and uh, manipulate it a little bit, take a few deep breaths, and <laughs> zone away, uh, this will kind of help change the sizing up of things anyway, so put a nice industrial building there, maybe an office one there, and then we'll just kind of do, yeah, uh, a little bit of a mix by kind of taking just a few tiles at a time, we'll leave some one tile gaps in between as well, and um, try and just place down different types of buildings and different types of sizes in here, we'll do some larger offices as well. Maybe in just a tiny bit of commercial, though there seems to be a good amount here right now, so we might be okay on that front. But um, yeah, I really appreciated that uh, video that Fucani put together. She is the detailing queen after all, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, only natural that uh, yeah, she would have some pretty good ideas on how to try and make this look better. Um, I've always kind of struggled with industry myself just because um, I usually tend to heavily favor it. I or I did, and still do, uh, heavily favor the industry DLC in uh, City Skylines 1. Um, you know, it's kind of as soon as those were unlocked, I'd be all over it, and uh, I, I use offices a lot to kind of crush the demand, but you know, this is a new game, so I have to <laughs> adapt to a new, a new play style, but uh, it's totally fine in my books, and uh, if you see, if you're watching this, uh, hopefully you don't mind, and uh, thank you for being a an amazing uh, inspiration for us all and trying to make yeah good looking cities so <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so we'll just get these roads in here as well and it's gonna drive me nuts if they don't go in straight and the zoning is already kind of driving me nuts <laughs> but <laughs> um, yeah you know we can sort of really play around with the different sizes and roadway connections here just to try and make something look a little bit different and hopefully make it look nice and if you guys want let me know what you guys prefer in the comments below do you like the new uh, split demands uh, for office and uh, industry do you enjoy um, using specialized areas uh, do you do you wish that they uh, you know, would count towards some of your industry demand, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I uh, definitely want to try and you know, be more engaged with the uh, community that watches my videos and, and that kind of stuff. I have a Discord server too, so if you're not over there, uh, there's a few more people in it now. We're, we're starting to grow, which is, is great to see. I appreciate everyone uh, stopping by and uh, yeah, let's uh, grow and learn this game together still. That was kind of my mission when I when I started this uh, series in the beginning, was to basically learn how to place City Skylines, uh, you know, along with uh, the great community that is here. So um, yeah, let me know. Well, I'd say that came in a lot uh, better. The area to say definitely has some more uh, breathing room. And as we can see, we've got uh, some rock and uh, let's Clothes, metal and steel, making machinery. Um, we've got that's oh, green, more metal ore, uh, vehicle manufacturing. So a lot of these things will take in uh, rock if we come into the production tab. Look at material goods, uh, cars. Yeah, they use metals and uh, looks like plastics as well. So um, we are seeing quite a large petrochemical deficit as well. So. Hopefully uh, we can expand our oil industry and that actually will uh, definitely serve us in the next part of this video. Uh, so the next thing we're going to work on is a little bit of some road realignment. And what I'd like to do is actually take uh, this road and connect the main highway more through this. This road here seems how this road is actually wider and a bit more set up for handling a large volume of traffic. Uh, so we'll do a little bit of uh, sort of interchange I guess over here, not quite. Uh, to get that connected in there and uh, then uh, what we are going to do as well is we're going to unlock uh, some tiles up here and uh, we'll get um, 
some industry areas set up. Uh, we'll kind of make the road bend along this way and uh, we'll work a little bit here in this oil industry and then set up some farms and some ore mining over there as well. So, But I'd like to do that all in a time lapse because there's not really much to uh, uh, explain. So I uh, hope you enjoy that and I'll catch you back here in a moment for some live play.
All right, we're just over in our oil industry. And um, to finish off today's episode, we're going to uh, cheese the game just a tiny bit. We come into our um, uh, signature buildings, that's what they're called here. Um, there is the vehicle factory, which uh, increases industrial efficiency citywide and also increases our oil deposits. And you need about 10 of them uh, placed to unlock it. And the vehicle factory um, uses quite a bit of metals and rock and oil and all that kind of stuff. So that will definitely help us uh, here. So we're just going to come into our specialized industries and we're just going to kind of place down... Um, a couple <laughs> just to unlock the final factory uh, I normally don't like cheese in the game but uh, I don't need 10 oil industry zones at the moment so <laughs> so take that out and um, what we'll do is right here uh, we do have a bit of space for a little more industrial and so if we come into our signature buildings vehicle factory it is quite a large building i had thought about placing it down over here instead but i think what we'll do is we'll transition this into a residential area and then i didn't really want to cram it in over here the only other place i kind of had thought about was here but we've got some uh some terrain going on although this actually would nicely close up this little gap but then again nothing can really go here either so <laughs> Uh, we have a few options. Uh, it's free to move, so how about you guys let me know in the comments below where would you like the uh, the vehicle factory? Would you like it here in uh, uh, place A, we'll call it, and um, or over here in place B? And um, yeah, I'll, I'll place it over here for now, but uh, you guys let me know in the comments and I can always move it off camera or, or something like that. So uh, we'll just get that in place like so and I backed it off the road here just so that we get a little bit of um, control where the uh, axis is so we will hook it up over here and let's just see what we have for mm -hmm. there's some parking going on around here so maybe we'll just wrap the building in these roads and connect it up like that. And then we'll just place that connecting road in there. And uh, maybe we'll just give it just a little bit of extra lanes just to have some directionality in there. And then what we can do as well is we'll just keep wrapping the building in roads. Get the snapping to snap where I want it to. <laughs> and we'll bring that down to about down, we'll turn the road guidelines back on. And then we'll connect that back here as well. And it looks like we do need a vehicle access over there, so we'll see if we can get that in, but it's kind of starting to touch that highway connection there. So, hmm, maybe this isn't the better spot for it. <laughs> I'll let me guys know what you think. Um, it's sort of connected for now, and uh, it is going to require quite a bit of um, quite a few number of educated uh, workers as well. So it'll take some time for that to fill up. But uh, yeah, um, let's just see how this is going. So it'll take some time. Uh, I'm gonna sit and let this run for a bit, and then we'll we'll come back and see how this is doing. All right, I was able to get to this uh, spun around and. Um, Currently, the efficiency is quite low. We're waiting for employees to get hired. Could take some time. We are kind of looking at our uh, unemployment rate. Again, a bit interesting sometimes how they display these metrics. It says we're at 12%, but there's actually more jobs than employed people at the moment. So I'm not entirely sure if this is pointing at the fact that, um, you know, it definitely looks like we have a lot of open jobs and not enough population so we may need to work on that first before this finally will take its full effect um it's still got a few of the warnings here um you know in our next episode what we can come through and hopefully finally do some residential expansion now that we have lots of jobs available for everyone to do when they move in and just checking our ground pollution you know just waiting for this area to kind of clean up and then hopefully yeah we'll be able to put in a nice big uh, residential expansion around the college here is kind of my plan so that'll be the plan for next episode but if you did enjoy today hopefully uh it wasn't 
<laughs> too terribly not uh, boring. Uh, hopefully we got some issues solved and worked on expanding our, our networks and getting our city more connected. And uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, building more on Properton. So uh, take care. Bye-bye.